really changed the mindset and really looked at, okay, stop playing the victim mindset. Let's look within, let's have a self audit. What is really going on? Let's go, let's go. Another, another day to, to be great. Another day to set up our higher, another day to get close to that goal. Another be, day to be more dangerous. Another day to just pass it on to other people. Positive energy, focused and energy, disciplined energy. As always, up before the sun, up before the horns are honking, up before the text messages, the emails are just going off, and we're going to keep raising our bar higher. Actually, 4 a.m. isn't even, even, it's not working anymore. Now we have to get up at 3.30. And I saw Mark Wahlberg, he's getting up at 3. So guess what? I guess I need to get up at 3 too. <laughs> but anyway, and of course, couldn't be complete unless we have the coffee in play. So this is the, this is how it works, guys. This is, it's just silence. I'm in that solitude of having that inner monologue with myself, you know, just going over, what I want for the day, the, the wins that I want, just creating the strategy and then also getting rid of or beginning the process of getting rid of some of that negative energy because you cannot have positive energy without understanding that negative energy will come and it's your job and your mission to get it out. How are you going to, what are you going to do to channel it in a way to where, okay, I can get rid of it, or it can take over. You know, those, those emotions, that fear, am I gonna let fear take over? Or I'm gonna harness that fear, understand where that fear is coming from, and not let it beat me, and not let it affect me, and not allow it to take me off course. And this is what it takes. After this, we're gonna get to the gym and begin the rest of the day. And this is every day, every single day. It doesn't matter what's going on. It's no excuses. It's non-negotiable. It's if, uh, if I make it, when am I going to make it? So let's do it. I appreciate you guys. I've seen a lot of you guys been tapping in with some of the, the content. Very grateful. Let's keep it going. Let's build this community. Let's build this team and Let's do it. All right, so we're about to get into it. Um, another leg day. 3.30 wake up call. And now we're about to smash these legs. I have to drive out a little bit further to find this hack squat, to find the shit that has the hack squat machine. But it's all good. So we're gonna get a couple of warm ups, and then we're gonna get this, get the heavy stuff going. And uh, stay tuned, let's do it guys. And with legs, it's not so many different exercises. It's just how many sets I'm doing it. So I'll probably be on the, I'll be on this hack squat machine for about six sets. And then it, leg extensions probably gonna be anywhere from probably eight to 10 sets. And then you kind of get the idea. You know, for me, I'm finding the balance of power and still being able to create a, uh, speed and have mobility for jujitsu and then plus i'm 40 guys I'm, I'm trying to i'm trying to slow down this clock so which is no excuse honestly i feel that i'm in the best shape ever now and then that's a, that's another point that i want to make with you guys like look whatever you think the time frame is and it's over or you're, su you're supposed to be at this particular level at this age i feel it's completely false because if i would have kept that then Honestly, I would have missed out on a lot of my blessings. A lot of my blessings didn't come until, you know, mid thirties, you know, late thirties, to be honest with you. And it's like, I'm seeing like a new iteration of myself now. So it's never too late. You have the, the decision to say, hey, I'm ready to start now. I'm ready to make a change now in whatever realm. So let's keep warming it up.
work. I mean, the name of the game right now, we're trying just to get stronger. The name of the game is strength, all right? The name of the game is protecting our joints and tendons. You know, I wanna just be stronger. You know, plain and simple, I think strength, pure out is just a necessity. You have to be strong, you know, not only to lift weights in the gym, but, you know, as you're just going through your day, just to handle yourself, you know, being strong is important and, it's, it's a necessity. You, you get what I'm saying, guys. Come on, let's do it. So is it just about trying to slap on as much weight as possible and then seeing how much you can lift? Absolutely not. There's definitely a program, there's a method behind it, there's a periodization strategy that I use that gets me to the point to where I'm lifting at these numbers, you know, at the rep range. It's not just, hey, let me just slap on and see what happens. It's another reason why, since I've been recording pretty much all my workouts, that's actually been my log over, I mean, well over 10 years. So I legitimately have a live log of my lifts, numbers, all of it. So then it's also dependent on what is the goal. Like I said, my goal is I wanna be stronger, you know, definitely get some more size, but being able to make this applicable to jujitsu. So the lifts that I pick, rep count, uh, sets, you know, volume, all of that is conducive to the goal for me. Just like someone, any of you guys watching, the goal is gonna be different for you. It's not just a cookie cutter uh, workout. Now fundamentals will definitely stay the same, but you have to say to yourself, okay, what do you wanna work on? And then it's like, okay, the journey, kind of takes his lefts and rights and things like that. So if anybody was wondering, all right. So guys, we got leg extensions now. This is gonna be about anywhere from eight to 10 sets. Uh, intense, heavy, wanna get the rep range every time. Nothing, for, nothing glamorous. It's literally one set after, after another, and we get it in. For me, I definitely still enjoy leg extensions. I still think, as far as like the pump goes, I don't know, nothing seems to be able to duplicate, of course. Well, your squats, your lunges, your zerka lunges, squat variations is all fine, but extensions, I don't know, just have a special place, so 
Keep it in, lock it in. Let's do it. All right, workout is done. Before I dig into the post-workout meal, which is uh, chicken meatballs and jasmine rice, I want to really reiterate, this is why the morning routine, the morning workouts, the discipline has to be non-negotiable. It's not just to say, yeah, I got my workout in. Yes, of course, that's very important. But what is that workout developing? What is that workout building? When you have that quiet time, when you're just in silence, there's so no phones, no messages, no family, no this, no that, no job, nothing. It's just you and your own thoughts. Turn off everything. There's no podcast. There's no music, no YouTube. This is your opportunity to be with your own thoughts and listen. You're trying to figure it out. You're going through everything under the sun. You're going through the life lessons. Life is throwing the roadblocks. They're throwing the speed bumps at you. Maybe you have to silence everything. And just listen, because I feel the universe is telling you the direction you need to take. But it's going to require you to listen. It's going to require you to shut down all of those external distractions. And when you have that early morning wake up, you have the opportunity to just be within your own thoughts. And now you're already starting your day on such a high. You've already. How many wins do you have already? By getting up early, inner monologue, figuring it out, one step closer to finding the solution. You got your workout in. Then the sun is up. Then the sun comes up. Now you can go out and have a clear mind, clear canvas, and now really figure out, okay, let's go. Let's go to war. Let's 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 go. Don't look at it as a negative. Like look at it like, okay, hey, let's find the solution. When I really, ch I'm telling you, I'm getting, I'm already getting amped. When I really changed the mindset and really looked at, okay, let's stop playing the victim mindset. Let's look within, let's have a self audit. What is really going on? That's when the answer started to come and started to start, the pathway started to become more clear and I'm still figuring out, I'm still learning. I'm still building. I'm not satisfied. I'm not there. I'm still healing. That's why I have to get up every morning. It is not... <laughs> Right, I have to still get up and remove all of that negative energy, negative thoughts. I'm waking up negative. I'm waking up mad. That's why I have to take that extra hour and just, okay, hold on. Before I step outside of this door, all right, where is this coming from? Then when I get to the gym, I can really just unleash and let it all out on the weights. And when I walk out, I'm walking on a high. So I'm sharing this with you because this is what has helped me look back at the previous videos, guys. You know, 2020, 2021, when I was really, really going through it, even down to how skinny I was. This is what helped me. This is what is continuing me to elevate. You can see the transition. And I want to, I'm sharing that with you and I want you guys to implement it as well. I'm going to keep showing up. I'm here. Let's go, guys.